So in addition to the brazier, um, sometimes I cook with this instead. Um, it's my pop can spirit stove. And you can see it's made out of two pop cans. Um, if you look really closely, you can maybe even figure out which type of pop they're from. But anyway, I cut the bottoms of the two and nestled them together and then put um, some holes in the bottom of one, this big hole, a bunch of little holes. Um, and the fuel for this stove is something called methylated spirits. Um, and so I'll pour some um, into the stove itself, through this top hole. And then I'll also pour some uh, onto this lid as well. And then after I do that, I cover the hole that I just put the liquid through with a coin. Uh, this is basically the equivalent of a penny in Zambia. Um, and then I'll um, light the liquid that's in the lid on the fire. Yeah, so now it's heating up. You can't really see it burning. Um, I'll put this rack on the top. Um, this is where I'll put my pot while I'm cooking. Yeah, um, retrospectively I should have done this at night because you kind of can't see the flames that well. But anyway, um, after a while, so right now the liquid around the tin can is burning. And after a while, the liquid inside of it will heat up enough to start burning too. And fire will come out of the little holes around the edges, um, kind of like a gas stove at your house. Um, and today I'm cooking eggs, so I just put them on top and they'll cook. And that is a spirit stove. Um, so it takes quite a bit of liquid um, to cook. Um, you have to use quite a bit even to cook something small. So I don't use it very much, and I'll use it to make more simple things like eggs or oatmeal, um, for heating up water, for tea, um, those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a fun way that I do some of my cooking.